Hi, and welcome back to another car conversation. Happy Monday to you guys. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. Let me just say I did. I had a fabulous weekend as always. And y'all know for me, even if I don't do anything at all, I'm still going to have a wonderful weekend. However, before I jump into today's topic, I just wanted to tell you guys something because I'm not sure if I mentioned this before or not, but you may have noticed that I've not been doing catch up with me videos for a while and I will get back to doing them. I just haven't been doing them because I noticed that YouTube no longer uses is the classic platform that it was using so this new way of uploading your videos is fine but trying to get them edited where I need to crop out things that's just for whatever reason maybe it's user error I don't know but it's just not working out for me and I'm actually thinking about reaching out to someone on Fiverr or something like that to edit my videos for me. I'll think, I will think I need some time to just really think about all of that. But anyway, so that's why you have not seen me do catch up with me videos in a while. So I just thought I would let you guys know that. And also the other day, yesterday as a matter of fact, I was doing something and I remembered that I had some audio files that I wanted to record. So I found 13 of them that I'd like to record and the majority of those will be free. And once I get them all uploaded, I will let you know where you can go and get those from. And they're on various topics, all motivational topics, but I'll let you know where you can get them from and uh, make sure you go ahead and, and take advantage of those. And I think that was it. So let's jump into today's topic. So today's topic is, what are you willing to sacrifice? Mm. I need y'all to think about that. What are you willing to sacrifice? <clears throat> and so the word sacrifice is a loss or something that you give up, usually for the sake of a better cause. So let's talk about some things that you might need to sacrifice. And we're talking about sacrificing to get what you want. Now, let me tell you what I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about selling your soul to the devil so you can move ahead. Let's be clear about that. That is not what I'm talking about. But there are so many people that will do that just so they can get ahead. And I want to just caution you about doing that. So let me jump in. Number one, you may need to give up a little sleep. Sometimes when you want to get to that next level, you may have to give up a little sleep. So I know when I was going to the gym, or I was able to go to the gym, we were getting there at, well, first we started out at two in the morning and then I moved it up to midnight. See, because I could be in bed by seven, get up at 11, 11, 15 ish at the latest, get myself together and get to the gym by midnight. And I could be coming out of there by 1.15, 1.30, go home, shower, get myself together, be back in the bed by 2.15, 2.30, and still have about four hours more sleep to get. So for me, I decided that it was all right to give up a little bit of that sleep time so that I could go and do what I needed to do, which was to get my workout in. Because going in the evenings just didn't work for me anymore. It doesn't work for me anymore because to get there at 5, 6 o'clock in the evening, everybody else is there, it's too crowded, and I just don't like it anymore. So I have to be willing to give up a little sleep so that I can get my workout in. Sometimes you may have to give up a little sleep so you can get some study time in for whatever it is that you're trying to study to, to master or whatever it is that you're trying to do. You might have to give up a little bit of sleep time because maybe that's the only time that you can have some time with God is to that time when everybody else is still asleep. So sometimes you will have to give up some sleep. And number two, you may need to change your spending habits. If you are shooting towards a goal of saving for, let's say, a house, a car, a vacation, classes that you want to take, or anything that you're saving for, you're going to have to give uh, change your spending habits. That means you can't just go out here and just keep swiping that card any way you feel like it. It does. It means that you can't keep running to that ATM taking out $100 here, $100 there, $50 here, $50 there. you got to curb your spending because you are trying to save for something greater. And in order to do that, you are going to have to cut you know curtail some of your spending so maybe you only eat out once a week as opposed to two or three times a week it's all right or maybe you decide you're only going to eat out on paydays that's twice a month for most of us some months we, we do get paid three times depending on how your payday falls but you get where i'm going with this you're going to have to 
control your spending when you're trying to save for something greater. Number three, you may need to stop hanging out with some of your friends. With, I'm sorry, hang out. You may need to stop hanging out with your friends as much. If you have a goal to be successful in your business, you don't have time to hang out with Susie and them, with Joe and them. You don't have time for that because you need to be focusing on your business. So you cut out, say, hey, look, love you guys, but I'm going to have to catch you on the weekend because I need to be studying or, or or working on my business and I need to be focused on that so I, I can only hang out with you on the weekends but during the weekday you are working on your business and if they don't understand that then guess what they're not your real, real friends anyway number four you may need to let go of that relationship y'all excuse me I have my sinuses above me my nose is at you you may need to let go of that relationship some of y'all are in relationships and you are just as miserable just as miserable as burnt toast is awful. Let me now let me let me say that one more time. Some of you all are just as miserable as burnt toast is awful. Now I know some of y'all like burnt toast, and that's all fine and good. Me, I do not. If I see burnt, I'm not touching it. But that's a whole nother video for a whole nother time. My point is is some of you all are in relationships just to be able to say, I am in a relationship, but you're not happy. Let that relationship go. What purpose does it serve you to be in a relationship with somebody that you're not even happy with? Mm. and you wonder why you don't have peace of mind that's why because you won't give up that relationship so that you can be happy with yourself or go and be happy with somebody else anyway and number five you may need to give up the extra snacks if you are working towards getting your weight down to a healthier weight you are going to have to cut out so much snacking now i don't know about you all i use my fitness pal have you ever seen my fitness pal it, allow, it has a, uh, a section for snacks, but I also use my fitness planner. Happy Planner has a fitness planner. And I use that to write. Now, I don't. Oh, so let me, let me say this. Because I put on the app on my phone what I'm actually eating on in my Happy Planner. I just write down for breakfast, I had X number of calories. For my morning snack, I had this. For lunch, I had that. My evening snack, I had the other. And dinner, etc. Now, some days, I don't have a snack at all. And then some days, I may only have one snack in the afternoon. And, and so, it just depends. But you are allowed to have a snack. Everybody needs that. And a snack doesn't necessarily have to be something unhealthy. It could be a cup of grapes. I love having a cup of grapes or a couple slices of watermelon. Or, or some some grapefruit or something like that. You know what I mean? It doesn't have to be an unhealthy snack. And you may decide, hey, I want to have that Snickers bar as my snack. It's all right to do that. You just need to make sure you write it down to accommodate it. But if you snack all day long and you're having breakfast, lunch, and dinner, that's a problem. So you're not going to get make your weight gold if you keep doing that. So you're going to have to cut that out. Let me do a quick recap, and I promise I'll let you be. So today I talked about, I asked the question, what are you willing to sacrifice to get what you want? And so I talked about you may need to give up a little sleep. You may need to change your spending habits. You may need to stop hanging out with your friends as much. You may need to let go of that relationship. And lastly, you may need to give up the extra snacks. I will have all of this in the description box. So I need you guys to really think about it. What is it that you need to do in order to get to the next level? Aside from selling your soul to the devil. That's all I have, you guys. Thank you so much to my new subscribers. Thank you so much to those of you that continue to support me in all that I do. I love you guys to the moon and back. And y'all know the drill. There's nothing you can do about it. Absolutely nothing at all. Because I'm going to love you no matter what. I'm going to love you when you're going up. I'm going to love you when you're coming down. I'm going to love you when you're going in. I'm going to love you when you're coming out. But most of all, I'm going to love you when nobody else even likes you. Until next time, take care.